Hi, I'm Marcia Alexander Clark. I'm a visual artist. My main area of work is video right now. In the past, I was a painter. I was trained in painting and involved in painting for quite a few years. And then when I went to graduate school, I started working with sculpture. So I have about 10 years of work in sculpture also. And then I became very interested in video and started working with video. I'm not officially trained in video, but I have um, uh, studied at the com community television station and also just uh, by, uh, by sheer <laughs> trial and error. Um, anyway, my last two names, Alexander and then Clark, um, honor the two most important men in my life. Um, Addison Alexander, my father, who was a missionary and um, Presbyterian um, preacher and also an educator. I was born and raised in Chile, in Valparaiso, Chile. And my father was director for 22 years of the Colegio David Trumbo in Valparaiso. My husband, Oscar Clark, was a botanist and also a naturalist and was very much loved for his knowledge of nature, which was extensive. Oscar and I traveled. Uh, we did three large, big trips. One uh, in, I think it was about 80, 81, uh, to Europe and Africa. And then later on, I, uh, about 85, 86, we went to Australia for a whole year. And in Australia, we bought a car, a small van, and drove uh, uh, all around the continent, camping the whole time. And we were there for a whole year, and it was wonderful. And then a few years later, in 1991, we went to Chile and Argentina. In Chile, of course, we went to visit my old home and the school. Uh, my home was a school, actually. And, um, and then we traveled. We got a little car and we traveled the whole length of Chile and Argentina. By that time, I had my video camera, so I recorded that uh, that journey all the way through. Oscar talking about plants quite a bit, and um, then there's a lot of other footage that is very interesting. Then my videos are um, are um, have been begun in the eight, light, late 80s, as I said, and um, I started working with more dramatic pieces uh, and they were uh, somewhat influenced by my love of, of um, Samuel Beckett's work, although not really, but they're about my childhood in a way. Uh, they were interesting. And then later I, I did some videos with interviews of people, particularly uh, an interview uh, with my cousin's family uh, about illness. And then um, I wanted very much to create a video that was related to minimalism. I had loved the work of Sola Witt and also particularly Agnes Martin. I love those repeated lines that speak of silence and that felt very, very important to me. It took me a little while to uh, arrive at that language in video, 
But I did arrive there in the, well, it was about um, 2012, I believe, or 2011, that I created uh, 18 Seconds Repeated, which was uh, my turning point at that point, uh, at that point in time. And um, I started uh, creating videos that are uh, primarily repeated marks, of what I call marks. The marks are created from actual footage, uh, footage at this point um, of landscape. And I, um, a lot of my footage at the beginning was from our garden in Riverside, California. And then later, now uh, primarily from the LA Arboretum here in uh, Pasadena. And, um, well, it's in Arcadia, actually. And um, then I cropped the video so small, particularly the later video, uh, so that you cannot quite tell what's in the marks. So the mark, the, they're very thin linear marks and they, um, because they don't really show the plants and, and the light playing on the plants, um, they only show texture. So that the marks are, uh, don't move except they, they come and fade away. But the uh, marks within themselves have movement. So they are at once geometrical and, and um, uh, well, botanical uh, of nature. And they, uh, in a way, refer to uh, my, um, uh, and my relationship to the world. I think of my relationship to the world because I'm a very private person uh, as being, uh, in a way, looking through a peephole. So, um, and, that, and then as I started working with the video, I started realizing, since it's a time-based um, format, uh, I n needed to have variation with the progression of the marks as they uh, fade in and fade out. And so there's a <clears throat> variation in rhythm and, uh, and the placement of each of the marks on the screen is very important also. For quite a while there, I was uh, thought of the screen as a, as a canvas. Um, <clears throat> and then sometimes it feels also like a stage, but it's also, in my mind, um, a place of the unconscious, as if, as if things are coming through and out of, out of the uh, darkness. So uh, that's my introduction to my video work. There's quite a bit of it uh, on the site now. And I hope you enjoy. I would love to hear from you if you enjoy the work. And there's also a video from our, to, uh, from our travel in Chile and Argentina, and a little bit of uh, Valparaiso and the school. Uh, but mainly uh, the video on my YouTube channel is of my work and uh, they have various names, a lot of the names are in Spanish, and many of the videos are silent. They don't have sound. Some of them do, and some have choral sound. And um, <clears throat> because I have been working with a choir, a local color from Idlewild, California, and uh, they have been very patient with me, and I've done um, a three important choral pieces as well. But the silent pieces uh, are very important to me and what I want, uh, I hope to encourage is looking. And sometimes sound kind of takes over one's looking. 
So the silent ones emphasize looking. My work very much comes out of silence, out of solitude, and silence is very, very important to me. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye.